jambo mpenzi mtazamaji karibu katika baraza la siasa jina langu ni Salome Mwiruri. Leo tunapiga msasa swala la punguza mzigo. Je, mzigo wa punguza mzigo umekithiri? Leo kwenye studio tunaye David Oyola ambaye ni mwanachama wa ODM na pia tulikuwa tumewasilisha na kuongea na Ekure uh, Kota ambaye alikuwa anafaa kuwasili hapa lakini alisema kuwa chama chake nilifanya chama kilifanya uamuzi kuwa kwanza watasubiri wajue matokeo ya BBI ripoti ya BBI na ndipo wataweza ku, kuongelesha vyombo vya habari kwa hivyo tunamtarajia kuwa ataweza kufika hapa wiki ijayo pia tulikuwa tumemwalika Dennis Kiogora ambaye ni diwani kutoka kaunti ya Meru lakini kwanza hebu tutazame jinsi mambo yalivyojitokeza mahakamani wiki hii As I said again in our statement which you, you people are refusing to uh, to report on Punguza Mizigo bill is not is, is not is not an an event it's a movement, it's growing, and let, let me promise you, watch our next steps. My lawyer, uh, in raising, sought clarification, and the judge said what? I've not recused myself from your case. But he is scared of listening to this case, why? And yet he's the one who gave this, uh, this hearing date. So if you have not recused yourself from our case, then why, make a, why, why, why transplant orders from another case to our case? So you should listen to it. Basically, the judge is running away from hearing this matter. It's as simple as... Bila shaka huyo ni daktari Ekure Court. Na labda David, labda naza tueleza. Unapopata mtazamo wake Ekure Court, kia wapali kotini. Unahisi nini ambacho kinaendelea? Um, aliwasilisha kesi kotini ya kusema kuwa kuna madiwani wali, wali kula mlungula. Uh, Akiro Court, um, ni right yake kama mwana Kenya, anda kama anybody leader wa inchi, wa inchi ya Kenya, kuenda kotini na kushitake na kupeleka masuala yake ama malalamiko katika koti ya lafu koti ya muwe. But again, nikiangalia katika miwani ya siyasa, um, he is losing it. Uh, siasa, well, you don't approach politics na, na courts. It will not solve. It will even complicate issues kwako. Kwa hivyo, ekuro court, mimi nige kwa ye, angangoja, maizo ma, wa, ma, madiwani wapige, maizo ma counties wapige kura, ajue matokeo, alafu ndia kuwe na substantive response. Ina hii hi flip-flop yake kuongeongea na kurukaruka hapa na pale. Na dhani pia ndi likuwe na leta pia a, a lot of suspicion na a lot of anger kwa madiwani ambao walikuwa na reject because unasikia kama last time eh, Kirinyaga wali, wali, wali reject akatoa press conference anasema ma MC wanakuwa bribed Kiambu pia waka, waka reject akatoka the same thing anasema wanakuwa bribed angangoja tu the same process iendelee vizuri wakati alikuwa anatengeneza hii hi mswada ma MC za wakukua na kuna mahali yote alisema labda kuna mtu amempatia mswada yeye awalete Wale nyamaza tu akamaliza. Kwa hivyo mimi ningekuwa yeye angengoja iishe alafu ndio atoe substantive position. Lakini labda unapoangalia mtu kama Ike Record ni mtu ambaye ni kiongozi ambaye ametoa mswada anauleta na baadhi ya madiwani wameukataa. Wengi wameusoma kweli ama wamekataa ama wamesema kwa kama baba amesema ame kuwa watu wafuate BBI lazima sote tufuate BBI. Walisoma kweli mswada huu? Uh, ukweli wa mambo sidhani kama ma MCS wote walisoma msoda huo uh, Because ukiangalia okay, capacity pia ya ma MCS wetu tunao Sana sana rural, rural uh, counties Ma MCS wakona capacity sana chini ya elimu Waezi yalewa maneno ya bills na masheria ikiandiko alafu wa yelewe Vizuri wakisoma Inaitai, Wanaitaji mtu awa peleke pole pole Wa explain na nadhani speaker li facilitate hizo processes kwa assemblies Na wote walielewa uh, what a kuro court. Na ndio maana labda walipiga kura hivyo wakasema either tuna accept ama tume reject. But sidhani kama wote walisoma. Kama a county ya Nairobi uh, uh, maybe half walisoma. The remaining half wanangoja direction ya chama yao ama vigogo wao wanasema vipi. Alafu wanafuatilia hivyo hivyo. Nilisoma mi mwenyewe nilisoma the old document nikamaliza. 
kuna areas sikuwa nakubaliana nazo lakini kuna areas nilikuwa nimekubaliana naye ni areas kama zipi umesema kuna baadhi ya sehemu ambazo haukuwa nakubaliana nazo kabisa kama zipi hawezi weka sheria katika katiba ya nchi hiyo mm -hmm. ni ujinga ya mwisho hawezi chukua hawezi hata makampuni zile sheria ambazo wanatumia kwa turana ya fairs zao i beat safaricom ikue kobi ili ikue nini hawajaweka salary ya ma executive wao na ma employees wao katika sheria ambayo inalinda ina, ina guide hiyo company Ukichukua sheria una, unaweza kuchukua salary ya mtu unasema wewe tu lazima tu upate pesa kama alafu naeka kwa katiba. Kitu kama hiyo is a big joke. Again uwezi uwezi anza kusema at county ikuwe ni constituency moja. Kama Nairobi county ikutukue na one MP na mwingine anakuwa ni mama. Wewe kuna, kuna kuna reason why uh, 2010 constitution walipokuwa wanaitengeneza waliona kama tuweke 290 constituencies because representation there's no taxation without representation na katika demokrasia hiyo wasili tuseme uh, uh, um, uh, uh, representative wako yule ambaye anaku anaku anakuwasi anakuwasi anakuwakilisha yule ambaye anakuwakilisha katika uh, uh, meza ya ya cake ama meza ya mlo lazima kuwe ni mtu ambao wewe ndio umempatia hiyo jukumu ya kwenda pale katika the old constitution ambayo tulikuwa na 210 constituencies kuna makabila ama watu fulani katika nchi yetu hawakuwa represented ukienda for example county tuko na 47 county kama isiolo ni kidogo sana lakini kitambo they were not represented the isiolo people and ndio maana ndio maana walisema tuweke constituency kuwe 290 ndio watu kama zile constituency ndogo ziko kama kama ziko zile ziko kwale kilifi zile ndogo ndogo zikuwe au watu wa pale wa feel represented labda niku 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 kati kidogo umesema kuwa swala la watu ambao walikuwa nawakilisha um, lakini punguza mzigo si swala tu la uwakilishaji peke yake kuna baadhi ya sehemu ambazo uh, mswada huu una, unataka ku, ku, kupa nguvu haswa maswala ya ufisadi yes na naje unaposoma punguza mzigo haswa kuhusiana na maswala ya ufisadi unafikiria hii ndio suluhu ya Kenya eh maneno ya ufisadi alisema inachukua miezi ngapi mwezi mmoja mwezi mmoja ndio usikize kesi ya ufisadi in, a, in, a, uh, in the public eye unayukiangalia kama mtu anatoka nje it looks very it, it is very glossy ni kitu unatamani inazafanyika but when you come to execution unapata kama it's a bit difficult um, mimi ningependa kama kama ni yakuru kota angepatia wananchi nafasi ya kuleta maono vile na jinsi hii bili yake ingekuwa ikue mimi ningemwambia badala ya kusema ikue mwezi mmoja then strengthen judiciary Apart from ile alisema, because alisema kuna percentage ya judiciary pia na kuwa pale katika hiyo bilia kupunguza mzigo. Ambao mina kubaliana na ee, wakati 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 katiba, judiciary ndai kuwa na pesa ile inikona minimum. Ujia parliament ikona minimum, counties wakona minimum, 15% judiciary ya kupewa. Wangesema, judiciary, ama judiciary wakisha pewa hiyo pesa, there will be special court ya anti-corruption. Vile tutu kuna special court za environment, special court ya human rights, vitu kama hizo. Ndiyo kama ni kesi ya corruption zinapelekwa pale na zinakuwa kap facilitated na zerikali na pesa zile na rasilimali, alafu zina execute zile cases, is speedy endi ya raka, raka Lakini vile aliweka tu blanket, itakuwa fanyo na mwezi moja, na court vile tukona azo sahi, it's difficult. Lakini unapoangalia baati ya mambo ambayo ya, ya mo katika pungu za mzigo, yote pia ya, ya meweza kutekelezo katika katiba. Yeah. Lakini je uwa unafikiria kuwa, ni lazima katiba irekebishwe? Yes, lazima katiba irekebishwe. Katiba mbao tuko nao size very dangerous. Vipi unu? Hii neza choma inchi. Vipi lakini? Katika siyasa yetu ya wa Afrika, inakuanga eth, eth, eh, ethnically based. Mm -hmm. Ama ni, 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 ni ethnic representation ya, kati, ya, ya makabila ambao wanapele kwa pale. Ukengele National Assembly, ni makabila wame represent, wame, wame represented pale. Na ndi umano unolo aliongeza zika kuwa 290. Ndi chukue albit number of makabila zikuwe represented pale. Vile iko hivu because ya setu ni ya kikabila, ukichukua president moja, kiti moja ambao makabila ya napigania, then you expect nothing less than chaos. Lakini, lakini anadokeza kuwa kutakuwa na wadi. Wadi ambao zitakuwa na wawakilishi. Wadi zitasalia vile vile. Ya, yeah. What is ibaki vile vile? Mina kubaliana na ye because actually, iyo ndio proposal mina kubaliana na ye. Sasa unakubaliana na ye? Kuna vitu, una, 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 kuna vitu. Una, una, una sema kuwa punguza mzigo. Kuna vitu, kuna vitu eh, ndugu yangu ekuro okot, aliproposa ambao mina kubaliana na ye. <laughs> Moja yao ni maneno ya development ikue, word based. Wakati in the early 90s kulikuwa na kitu inaitua district, district focus for rural development, DFRB. Mm -hmm. DFRD. 
ilikuwa inasema kuwa pesa ya development inakuwa inapelekwa kwa district ambao DC ndiye alikuwa anakuwa control na hiyo pesa na hiyo ukiangalia sasa ukienda kwa mashinani wale wazee ambao sasa hiyo kwa 58 plus ama 50 plus wale ambao walijenga nyumba ya mabati ya kwanza utakwambia it is because projects is about zilikuwa zinafanywa under DFRD ambao ndio ilifanya tukajenga nyumba ya mabati kwanza in our village kwa hivyo mimi ni wakisema ati pesa iende kwa ward I will agree with him because that is the best way a development in a fai kuwe. Ndio wao sikuwe na marginalized. Hiyo na agree na yeye. Another thing ni me agree na yeye tukuwe na president ambao ana serve one term. Seven or whichever year hata kama ni five, hata kama ni one year. Iende hivyo. In fact coming kwa proposal yangu mimi napenda hata tukuwe na ma president wa nane. <laughs> Sasa nakuuliza swali hili. Um iwapo uh, mswada huu ungepelekwa katika uh, county na uwe na njia ya kurekebisha. Je, unafikiri kuwa mswada huu ungepita? Ingekuwa na njia ya kurekebisha, ingeku, inge, 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 wangefanya kuwa better. Because sahi ni maone ya mtu mmoja. Na likuwa nataka yo maono yake ya mtu mmoja. Maone ya mtu mmoja kwa, kwa, kwa 47 kupata, million. Kupata sahi za wa Kenya. Ndiyo nasema, alikuwa nataka yo maono yake. Ujua wale watu walikuwa naika sahi, hatu wako meso, wajua naika sahi jua nini. Wawo wameambiwa, Mume, representation mko wengi we are represented sg burden sg wage bill lakini, lazima tupunguze hizi vitu corruption tume, tume, tume ya, ya ibc yeah. ilianza kupitisha ilipitisha because waliletewa numbers kazi yao ni kuangalia oh, ni signature ya kweli yes lakini wale ambao walikuwa wanafanya wanaweka signature zao walikuwa wanajua chenye wanafanya hata wewe wewe umeshasoma hiyo bila shaka nimesoma mswada huo <laughs> lakini labda <laughs> ninge ningeza kukuuliza so hiyo oh. 7 years ya president mimi nimekubaliana naye kabisa so that atukue na presidency ambao tukienda election uh, incumbent anatumia pesa mingi na rasili mali za serikali silika, ku make sure amerudi back to power mm -hmm. na na influence the next election kila mtu akitoka fresh every election we have fresh people vying to get into government not somebody wanting to retain who uses the advantage kukua ofisi ya serikali anatumia rasilimali na resources of government to make sure that he does it the way jubilee walifanya last election ambao unatumia advertisement sponsoring by taxpayers money una una una, una, una advertise juu serikali imefanya kazi na ni campaign labda naweza kuuliza swala la ofisadi ni swala yes. ambalo punguza mzigo ilikuwa imesema kuwa inataka kusuluhisha um Unapoangalia katiba ya sasa swala la ufisadi pia limeangaziwa. Je, unaona kwenda mbele suluhu ni ipi? Ufisadi kulingana na maoni yangu the best way ya kumaliza ufisadi Kenya ni kuhakikisha tumepigana na ukabila. Hizi vitu zingine hizi ni hizi ni hizi ni cut work. Hizi watu wanafanya. Lakini kwani ukabila ndio ufisadi? Ukabila ndio chanzo cha shida yote hiki nchi iko nayo. Mm -hmm. Because every problem, every problem we have in this county is artificial. It is created. It is not something ambayo iwezi piganiwa nayo. Ukabila ndio, ndio problem ambayo imeleta every evil in this country. Because sazile mtu amechaguliwa, ame amekua president. Anakikisha kabila yake, wameingia ndani. Alafu chenye na drive yo kabila inakuwa it is our time to eat. They eat. Na ukijaribu, Kuf, kuf, kufukuza mmoja umweke into account, we hold into account. Anarudi nyumbani, anaita rally kwa siku ya matanga. Anaza kusema, our community is being targeted. Then those agencies ambao zina, zina investigate na zina prosecute cases, zinaanza kuogopa. Na sasa punguza so, mzigo. Sona vila handshake imekuja sayamba ambayo kuna ukabila, tukona cases zinaendelea vizuri sana. Uh, na punguza mzigo inadokeza kuwa, iwapo utatajwa wakatika kesi ya ufisadi mara moja, iwapo unafanya kazi katika ofisi ya uma utoke ili uweze na, na unokipato na hatia ufungwe milele. Uh, labda labda punguza mzigo ndiyo suluhu. Uh, uh, punguza mzigo ilikuwa na iyo nilikuwa na meagree nayo because it, it, is popul, it is populist, populistic in nature. Ni ile watu, watu wengi waneza furai fanyike hivyo. But again principles of democracy inasema somebody is innocent until proven guilty. You cannot force somebody to be guilty, to act guilty and uh, uh, to act guilt until proven innocent. Unless we want to change the principles to wake a tyranny. Ama ile, uh, how, how do you call tyranny kwa kisoili? Ubebari ama, ama, ama kitu sasa, kama iyo. Uh -huh. Amba somebody has no voice. Uh -huh. The king gives an order and decree and that's it. You will prove yourself innocent from inside. Otherwise you are guilty. David, kuna kitu ambacho nimeza kupata kwa kumesema kuwa kuna bathi ya sehemu ambazo unakubali ya nazo. Yes. Lakini watu wengi wa chama cha ODM na pia wewe kwa mmoja wao ni watu wa BBI. 
labda unaweza tueleza mna labda mna fununu baadhi ya mambo ambayo yatajitokeza kwenye BBI na je wewe una unaunga una mkono BBI mimi naunga mkono sana BBI na ndugu yangu Uhuru uh, Kenyatta na Raila Odinga wa uh, vigogo wawili wa, wa, um, wa Kenya when they came up eh, waliona kama there are issues ambayo need to be solved among them is ethnic ethnicity negative ethnicity cohesion national values uh, corruption there are on nine points that walikuja nazo there, there were things that ambazo zina ill this country and we must make sure that we put this country in the best way forward in the best foot forward so that generation ambao watakuja baadaye who do not care about who you are by the way generation tuko nao sign your generation awaheshimu wazazi awaheshimu walimu awaheshimu makasisi awaheshimu elders they just don't care because wale role model, mo, models in society tumekuwa na a lot of upungufu ya role models ukienda mashambani saa hii chenye wazee ama wale ambao wameenda shule inafaa kuwa role models kwa, kwa the current generation wame lose it they cannot be modelers at all wanasiasa ambao wame occupy seats seats za waheshimiwa ukengele tabia zao na vitu ambazo wanasema vitu wanafanya so we tuko na bankruptcy ya role models so what this young generation are doing wanaangalia ni nini role model yenye iko hapa alafu wanaangalia so hizo ndio national values ambazo ziko ndani ya BBI ndani ya ndani ya BBI ambao wali list those nine points za handshake ndio waangalie wale vijana wadogo ambao wanakuwa ni nini tunaweza make sure tumerudisha values zetu za kitambo na labda labda naweza tueleza umeongelea handshake yes handshake ni nini na uhalisia wa handshake tumepata kuona kuwa ekuru kota umeweza kufika kotini kuuliza uhalali wa BBI ndio hiyo ndio shida ya ekuru kota ekuru kota nafikiria kila kitu lazima ifanye kazi katika uh, katika mkondo wa kisheria kwa hivyo vitu vingi nchini havifanyi kazi kwa mkondo wa sheria sheria ya normally laws always come last mm -hmm. before a law is there there must be an agreement by the people that this is how we are going to live then unachukua hiyo agreement unaiweka na kuwa sheria sasa you any any behavior that they will do and activity yote ambayo watafanya lazima iambatane na ile agreement ambayo walifanya ambayo ndio sheria ya nchi na labda so kama unaona vitu vitu kama BBI na, na kuna kuna time nilikuwa na one of the punguza mzigo um, officials katika uh, station fulani nikawaambia mimi kama mwanasia, si mwanasiasa but as a political scientist nimekuwa trend tofauti and hii hi punguza mzigo direction mnaenda nayo direction moja hii itawaumiza sana mnafikiria sheria na suluhisha kila kitu lakini mimi kama mwana, kama um, 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 political scientist huwa tunagiu from two angles ile kitu wanaita explicit the thing that you can see imeandikwaje imeandikwa usiuwe that is explicit Alafu kuna implicit ile ile una imply you can't touch it lakini unaweza imply sasa ndugu yangu ikuru okota natumia ile kitu anaona lakini natumia ile kitu anaiza imagine inafanyika for example tuseme amesema ni 500,000 president analipwa to him that is what he sees lakini an implicit argument a, 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 a thinker atasema what about siku moja uchumi kienda vizuri pesa imeongezeka na vitu zime See, it, it will be it will need that we have to add this money sasa so, ndo vitu ekuro kote inafaa ayangali mimi na kuangalia kila kitu kisheria ngimeumiza imeweka mali huko sasa hivi kwa hivyo sasa unasema kuwa punguza mzigo punguza mzigo government pathologies amesha declare dead the yeah. reason cause of the death hemorrhage hemorrhage i may define as the internal bleeding where has it bled in nairobi in kiambu in kirinyaga in Every county is almost 21 punguza mzigo as have internal bleeding. So according to government pathologists punguza mzigo is dead and dead na ni dead kama tanga tanga. Lakini labda nzateleza iwapo kuna kifo cha punguza mzigo. Um unapoangalia mtazamo wako kisiasa uh, ekuru kota atachukua awamu gani sasa? Tena hata atarejea kwa Wakenya. Uh, Ama... Sijui atafanya nini lakini mimi naona amekwisha unless I join ODM akuwe governor wa nini wa, wa, wa Turkana otherwise is a done guy is dead just over Ekuru court is all is finished na unapoangalia basi hilo huenda nikasema hayo ni maoni yako no, uh, unapoangalia uh, magavana pia magavana yes. pia wame, wamechangamka wamesema ah pia sisi tuna swala ambalo eh, tumekuja mm. na swala ambalo tunataka liangaziwe Um, uga, ugatuzi initiative unapoangalia ugatuzi initiative nasoma yapi hapo 
Uh, Uga choose initiative pia kuna very good proposals. Nangoja wai wai form into something serious because wajatengeneza they have not just done it, made it into a into a bill. So tunangoja wai make into a bill then we can read it but we have a very good proposal i agree with them in fact governors we need to listen to them very carefully mm -hmm. because they are the pioneer governors na wamejua vizuri sana kiatu ambao walivaa ilikuwa inafinya wapi kwa sasa kuna magovernors wengi wana struggle wengi wameruka wametoka sasa bbi sasa tena uko uko kwa ugatuzi no 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 no, no. governors chenye wanasema wao wameweka tu concentration yao kwa devolution now, devolution is one of the solutions to Konayo in this country. So we'll be very careful to listen to the governors. Mm. What they are saying is very important. Now, when you talk about Rais Kinyata Jana, he said that he has to be able to make a history of his history. Yes. Now, the BBI is the history of his history. Mimi, kulingana na maoni yangu, Rais Uru Kenyatta angeshikwa Jana. Alifanya makosa kubwa. Makosa ya kusema my thinking without my permission mm -hmm. he spoke my mind without my permission <laughs> he could have been arrested mm -hmm. because what he said was very clearly na mimi nilikuwa shocked then for the first time in my lifetime siko najua siku moja atafanyika rais ambaye amekaa kwa kiti anaweza ambia watu wengine ni wakora what was was key because tumesikia hizi kelele zote kwa matanga kila mahali bbi na create positions na hakuna haswa kiini cha bbi si ku create positions kwa watu na ujue hizi positions hata kama zimekuwa created watu wanaona ati eh position imekuwa created kwa Raila Odinga imekuwa created kwa Uhuru Kenyatta na wale ambao wamekaa kwa hizi positions za saa hii wanasahau walipinga katiba ambayo imeweka kwa positions ambao wamekaa saa hii wao nani aliotengenezea hizo position ya deputy president na vitu kama hizo Bila shaka hayo ni maoni ya David lakini kwa sasa tuweza kuchukua mapumziko tarejea sana mtazamaji kumbuka natazama uh, kipindi cha siasa pale ambapo tunapiga msasa swala la BBI swala la punguza mzigo na pia swala la um, baadhi ya ma, baadhi ya mambo ambayo wameza kutendeka hii leo ama wiki hii katika ulingo wa siasa uh, labda tunapoangalia David maswala ya punguza mzigo tunapoangalia magavana wote wanataka kupendekeza nguvu kwa seneti labda unzatueleza unapoangalia swala kama hili unaona ni yepi ambayo yanajitokeza eh nimesoma last week uh, uh, chairman wa wa, wa 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 CEO commission of implement is it the CEO COE <laughs> ile ilikuwa itengeneza katiba Zamba Gitonga wakili Zamba Gitonga alitoa mapendekezo fulani alikuwa kwa gazeti alileta kwa gazeti ya nilizisoma kwa gazeti akasema for the first time in the history ya, ya dunia Kenya ndilifanya mistake kubwa sana ya kuweka Senate inakuwa kama lower house. Na those are the things inafaa tuangalie katika ile 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 ile, ile time ya kubadilisha katiba. Tuweke Senate kuwe upper house ndio ifanish mashairi ambazo zinatoka National Assembly. Because naturally ukiangalia National Assembly ya Kenya imejaa na utoto mingi sana. Wale wamejaa watoto wamejaa pale wengi na inafaa kitu fulani lazima ifanywe. If National Assembly is not rescued we are going to have a serious crisis in this country because imejana watu waelewi hata vitu wanafanya 
yes siasa ya wevi liwapeleka wakaingia pale kwa maofisi kwa, kwa maizo maviti wakaingia but sio watu ambao wanaelewa chenye wanafanya so we need some sober house ambayo ina vet hizi masheria ambazo zinatoka national assembly some of them can be very dangerous na siku moja wanaweza pitisha issue kubwa ambayo inaweza zamisha nchi hii lakini kuna swala kuna watu ambao wana, wana, wana mapendekezo kuwa si lazima watu waende kufanya marekebisho ya katiba uh, kuna wale ambao wanaweza kuleta a, a sponsored motion pale bunge The private uh, members uh, private members bill na labda je kuna maswala ambayo wakuru kwa tangefanya pale na aweze ku sponsor bill ifike pale na kupate baadhi ya zile marekebisho ambazo ana, anapendekeza Ekuro kota kona nia nzuri i believe kona nia nzuri lakini vile jinsi anavyozi execute ndio problem sana anatoka anajitokeza kama mtu ambaye ako arrogant is not consultative na si mtu ambaye unaweza muongelesha ana behave kama 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 naibu wa rais ambayo anakaa ana kama mtu ambaye Kidogo tu kate tuko na simu yes. kuna msikilizaji ambaye anataka kutupatia maoni yake TV47 hello TV47 hello 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 Sema tueleze jina lako na maoni yako tafadhali Hello. Nakusikia? Naandika. Hello. Nakusikia, nakusikia. Nikisema na sema. Mhm. Nakusikia? Ndio shida. Ndio. Na bila kwenda na kuu. Aha. Sasa mwanangu yangu na mtaa wa mwanangu yangu ni kuhusu. Ndio. Ah, kumbe na hii ndogo kidogo anaongea anaongea vizuri kuhusu kupunguza mzigo na BPI ndio <laughs> na ape ape hata kama hajakuwa na tuba hajatulikana sana hajakuwa hata na hata na hali ya kuingia Kenya na hata na hali ya kuingia na maoni Kenya ndio na hali ya kuingia ni kwa sababu ya au au kwa sababu ya opportunity ya Kenya ni mara ya mara ya ile tunaelewa mbingo ah bila shaka unasikia David anasema okay bila shaka unamsikia anasema kuwa wa Kenya wao wanataka mzigo upunguke mzigo inafaa ipunguke na na tunangoja BBI ipunguze. E, uh, punguza mzigo ilikuwa ni kama kama punguza walikuwa nasema punguza gunia punguza kitu kama hiyo. With all due respect mm -hmm. na mimi ningependa kuwa very simple mm -hmm. that punguza mzigo ilikuwa na very good intentions. Mm -hmm. If you read through the document you can read the intentions, the spirit of the document, they are very good spirits. But the letter of the document ndio iko na problem. The way ameziandika pale ndio ilikuwa na issue. Awezi chukua salary uweke kwa katiba. Awezi. Any constitution must be a flexible constitution that adjust to the situations hali ya inchi at that time. Sahi tunaza kuwa Kenya tukona challenges za uchumi. La but within three years or five, tukona uchumi nzuri, you need to. And the reason why uh, wafanyikazo serikali wanalipa pesa mingi, so that it deters them from kuingiza mkono katika mkoba ya wana inchi. Mimi nikikuwa MP na nipatia for example 100,000. Nikirudi nyumbani every Friday, every Friday weekend. Saturday asubuhi saa kumi, saa kumi kamili, watu wa miambili wanakungoja. Wanataka pesa ya matanga, wanataka pesa ya harusi. Moja nyumba yake ilivunjika nataka pesa ya mabati, wengine wanaenda safari siji wapi? Kuna pesa ya sanduku ya mazishi. MP ukimpatia shilingi moja ya kama salary He will not be able to sustain himself. Inabidi aibe zile CDF ndiye sustain hizi pesa. Lakini, Because yeye ni mwanasiasa. Lakini jukumu lake si kuwasaidia wa Kenya. Hiyo ndio problem. Shida ni sisi wa Kenya. Because the moment pia huyo mjumbe pia atakataa kupatia na wananchi pesa hata kwa matanga, hata rambe, basi anarudi nyumbani. Labda labda ni kwe, ni tu, tuende kwa swala lingine ambalo ningependa kukueleza. Umeona magazeti yes. vijana. Sema ah Rais Uhuru Kenyatta anapenda wazee. Mary Wamboi. Eh, mimi na mimi nakubaliana. Mhm. Mm sana sana anakubaliana na rais. Na kuna vitu mingi nafaa tuelewe. Kuna sehemu nakubaliana na rais alafu kuna sehemu pia sikubaliane naye kabisa. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia boards, 
ukiangalia boards zizi boards ambao watu wana 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 wamepigia wa, 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 wa kelele sana you know board for example board kama Kenya kama Lake Basin Development Authority LBDA it tangu for ever since the year began this year 2019 wamekuwa na sittings ngapi tatu three sittings Tell me ni mwananchi ni, ni kijana yupi ako na patience ya kukaa kwa meetings tatu kwa mwaka alafu utasema tumememploy Haitamsaidia kwa hivyo unasema body zipewe Kuna zile board eh? kuna board ambazo zi, you know board kazi yake ni kuangalia policy ya, ya organization ku steer the company and ku steer the agency and the, or the organization Pale inataka inahitaji maarifa mingi sana by the way inahitaji mtu ako na network mtu ako na experience mtu ambaye amesha amejua ni nini anafanya vijana sisi inafaa sasa tuangalie tuambie rais kama hizi emergency kubwa kubwa wazee wanazichukua especially at the board level then tuangalie vile sisi vijana tunafanya nini tunaingizwa kwa secretariat ambayo zina run hizo organization because hapo ndio inahitaji akili hapo ndio inahitaji energy of the young people lakini david unapoangalia mtu kama mudia mudi wori yes 91 92 eh, nekesa modaura Mta kuniambia kuna kuna baadhi ya vijana ambao wana wana uh, angalia mtu kama Tomboya. Uh, 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 angalia mtu kama Tomboya. Uh, yes. Tomboya alikuwa na miaka ngapi? Alikuwa na around uh, 20 something by the time alikuwa anaingia kwa siasa. Kuna something. kuna baadhi ya vijana ambazo, ambao wamejitokeza na wana akili, wana, wana maarifa. But Tomboya alianza wapi? Alianza kwa trade union. So kwa hivyo unasema basi wazee Tomboya alianza na trade union wazee peke ndoa ambao wana wanafaa kuna siku kwa kuna siku nilienda kwa mkutano fulani uh, governor wa Kisumu professor Nyangnyongo akilaunch kitabu chake mm. uh, kijana mmoja akauliza mbona wazee wanachukua kazi zetu ma appointments mingi vijana wapewi wazee ndio wanapewa hata kabla amalize Paul Mwiti akasimama akasema hivi mimi namnukupu chenye Paul Mwiti alisema wakili Paul Mwiti alisema sisi wakati tulikuwa vijana Tulikuwa tushajitokeza tunapigania nchi hii. Tuna we stand against the government, we raise the issue by the yetu tulikuwa tunaingizwa hadi kwa makam, kwa, ma, kwa ma cells na ma prisons tupigania nchi hii. Ni nini vijana wanafanywa haswa wakati hii? Wakati huu. Niambie ni nini vijana wanafanya? That is you can see that these people are very serious. Kijana wa Kenya ndio wanabehave tu kama wamama wetu wa Kenya. Kijana kienda juu mwenye anamleta chini ni kijana mwenzake. Ni kama tu wamama, wako wengi vijana wako wengi. Lakini mmoja wao akienda mbele wale ambao wamebaki nyuma ambao ni kama wao wanawarudisha wana nyuma. Namba tu, vijana wa Kenya ndio hata hizi maboda ambazo wanalialia wanataka. Ma, manafasi zikitangazwa ati kuna board ambayo inataka watu vijana watu wa apply. Hakuna kijana na apply. Juzi National Cohesion and Integration Integration Commission wametangaza nafasi zao za commissioners. I can bet you and I tell you for a fact hakuna kijana aliapply hizo kitu hizo hizo nafasi hata moja. Kwa hivyo unasema kuna kazi, kuna ajira, vijana ndo ndo ambao hawa hawajitahidi. Vijana wa Kenya hata waende kwa maofisi za serikali. Ukienda hizo maofisi siku moja chukua nafasi yako enda kwa ofisi za waziri. Utapoje wazee wa pale ndo wameka pale wanataka mabiashara. Vijana hawafiki. Alafu problem pia tuko nayo ni viongozi wetu ambao pia wako katika nafasi za za, za uongozi. Ukienda county for example, vijana wakuja na kampuni zao wamepewa tender wa kusupply kitu kama hiyo amechukua loan kwa bank kutumia LPO inachukua one year ndiye alipi ndiye ndi alipe you cannot empower this guy it cannot make sense in political decisions or policy matters so we are also on the other side pia on the flip side we are not empowering our people our young people and sometimes it looks like it's a de- deliberate thing <laughs> love that love that kwa hivyo mimi nakubaliana on one side na president Kenyatta mm-hmm. kuangalia experience and seeing how these agencies can be guided because easy my board they are just for guiding purposes mm-hmm. my board is in account very small meetings in a year by the very few meetings lakini mwisho kabisa labda nikuulize usiana na mashuja mashuja ni akina nani lazima wawe wazee lazima wawe wana support mashuja nchini ni akina mashuja mashuja kulingana na mimi mashuja there are very many types of mashujas kuna wale wazee ambao walipigania uh, 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 uhuru yetu uhuru uhuru wetu 
tumewa recognize all along mm -hmm. from independence tumekuanga na Kenyatta day na tuna, tuna we praise these people but some of them wanaishi maisha mbaya they need a bit of empowerment there should be a special fund that is set aside by the government to empower the people who really suffered for this country there so many the people who died and others left their families the government need to do something about them those are our they are like our war veterans mm -hmm. and therefore we need to look at them very well look in america for example the veterans are really seriously honored ikifika hiyo siku ya mashujaa day ya america ama the war veterans for example it is a, a serious military parade because it, they are the people who hold held america the country to where it is today so mashujaa zetu mashujaa yetu pia nafaa wekewe kiti fulani ya pesa kitita fulani ya pesa ambaye inaangalia family zao na welfare yao iko vipi vitu kama medical vitu kama small expenditures expenses here and there is taken care of at the same time kuna vijana pia ambao wame generation yangu ambao wanafanya vitu mingi sana katika maisha ya maisha ya, ya wa Kenya. Tunaambiwa Mpesa for example ilitoka Kenya na iletolewa na kijana kutoka JKWAT. Hiyo ndio kitu tunaambiwa. Inafaa kijana kama huyo ambaye alileta kitu kama Mpesa is given a special recognition. Because he may revolutionize the, 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 the financial world, the financial sector across the globe. So vitu kama hizo inafaa tuangalie wale wanaspoti wetu na vitu kama hizo inafaa tuangalie au ni watu ambao they have taken our country to another level. Si watu kama Gideri Gideri man, is it Gideri man ama Gideri 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 man? Uh -huh. Unapatia mtu sababu alikuwa anakula Gideri kwa line. We 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 stoop too low. Na mimi ningependa kuna kitu mimi ilinikwaza sana wakati wa jubilee, the first time of jubilee. Kuna vijana wengi na watoto waliingia state house wakina itumbi, hiyo hiyo Iyo, iyo nini yote waliingia pale they cheapened state house to a point where people like ndugu yangu William Ruto could imagine that can be a president of the Republic of Kenya bila shaka labda ningekuuliza tu swali moja kabla kumaliza yes um masaibu ya Aisha Juma Aisha Juma Aisha Juma alijiingiza katika mtego peke yake a deal na situation yake apambane na hali yake na kuna kitu nilisema hapa last week unakumbuka nikiwa hapa na ule na, 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 na dadangu Kadija Galgalo uh, 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 wa ANC wa NC. Nikasema na mtu akapiga simu kutoka Budalangi na aliagree na mimi. Hakuna mtu yeyote anayeweza cheza na baba maisha yake ama hali yake iende sawa sawa. Bila shaka. Na list iko mrefu sana. Unaweza taja wote na mtu Budalangi alitaja ababu na mwamba, munga tana, nani. The list is too long. So Aisha Juma alitoka na kiburi fulani mpaka akajitokeza katoa weakness yake. You know sometimes our strength are our weakness. So Aisha Juma alitoa strength yake ambayo alikuwa ni arrogance. Anajifanya kama yeye ni mkatilili. Alianza kujiita mkatilili wa menza wa pili. Amejitokeza yeye anataka kuokoa watu wa pwani. Najua hiyo arrogance alikuwa na project huko na inajitokeza kama weakness. That is what was exploited to bring her down. And I can tell you for a fact Aisha Juma na siasa yake imekwisha. Kwisha, kwisha, kwisha. Bila shaka hayo ni maoni ya David ambaye ni mwanachama wa ODM. Ulikuwa natazama baraza la siasa. Asante tuungane tena wiki ijayo.